Last year we were talking a little bit about multicast and peer to peer. This year we've got a really exciting sneak peek for you. How many of you consume video on the web today? All of you. Now, how many of you really consume video on the web today? Or online? Now, how many of you consume video on your device? Do you like the experience? It's getting pretty good. You know, there's some good technology out there. It's, it's getting there. We can walk around with our videos and watch it. The challenge, though, how many of you produce video? How many of you spend your days banging your head against a monitor trying to get that video onto these multiple devices? We're going to help you solve that problem in 2011. I'm going to start showing you some of that problem solving today. When we sneak peek to you, this is the very first time shown anywhere of an Adobe Flash Media Technology streaming to a device that doesn't have flash on it. I'll let you think about what device that might be and I'll continue on. What we're going to do here is we're going to show you some workflows. We're going to show you some broadcast workflows that are working today. And what we're going to do is we're going to take this camera, this is actually the picture of the camera, and we're going to show you a brand new version of the Adobe Flash Media Live Encoder. This is a first time sneak peek of this new broadcast encoder. And this is a technology that Adobe gives away for free. You can go up to adobe.com right now today and download this thing for free. We're going to show you a sneak peek of the new interface and the new broadcast workflows. We're going to be using the Matrox uh, MX02 capture card, and we've also got the Black Magic capture card, all ingesting an SDI stream from this broadcast camera. We're going to use the Flash Media Server, a future version of Flash Media Server, and package that for HTML5, for Flash, and deliver it out to multiple devices. So what we're going to show you is HTTP dynamic streaming to Adobe Flash. We're going to start there showing you the workflow and how you produce HTTP streaming going to Flash. Then we're going to extend that with HLS streaming to the Apple devices. Now, and this is an example of the, you can see this is live, right? Uh, there's the camera. Uh, this is a live stream. It's, it's, you're not seeing the full motion because I'm remote desktop into it, but really good example of, you can actually see the encoded video, the live video, and you can see there's a, a couple millisecond delay, not very much, so the encoding uh, technology is, is really sharp in here. There's a whole bunch of new technologies in here that you can manipulate to switch cameras and just move things around. You can, you can monitor the logs of the encoding. It's really quite a great encoding tool. Now what I've done in here is, stop this, but I'm encoding this to H.264 and AAC. And I've set the profile to uh, a, a main profile with level 3, basically set the specifications for the Apple device. Now Flash can consume this. So as long as you have your H.264 and your baseline and your keyframes all set up right, which will help you understand, you can actually encode and package to, to both uh, platforms. So first I'm going to take this URL and I'm going to show you the iPad uh, URL. This is what we'll try to get working on the iPad here. Okay, now this is just an HTML5 page, all right? And I can show you this in a second. But you can see with just the HTML5, I can hit play, and this same video is being now rendered out to uh, the Safari browser using QuickTime under the hood to render out the video. And it looks great. This is a HTML5 live video running from Flash Media Server. Is that pretty cool? That yeah. helps? Good job. Okay, so now if I look at the source on this, just to prove there's nothing up my sleeve, there's a bunch of HTML code here, but if I just do a search in here, you can find the video tag is right there. And that's the live stream, right? So it's effectively a video tag running in, and when you go in here, you can see it'll just source an M3UA file. If I actually take this URL, right, and I drop that directly inside of Safari, no, nothing works. Okay, let's try that again. Oh, it didn't work. Actually, it's QuickTime. Sorry, I screwed up the demo there. If we load up QuickTime. And I put in the URL. Here's that same live video running inside of QuickTime. Okay, so this is not Flash. This is Flash Media Server preparing the video in an HLS format going out to QuickTime.